Hey. <laughs> uh, what do you want me to start with? Let's talk about talk, talk about. about why you did it, probably? Questions yeah. Well, well. How, people yeah. have people have seen the bus. Yeah, I think uh, maybe put a link below to like the bus tour that you guys filmed uh -huh. um, on the spring turkey tour back in '18. Uh, but yeah, this is kind of like the miniature 19. version. Sorry, back in '19. This it all blurs together. I don't remember. Um, right. But anyway, this is kind of like a miniature version of the school bus, but it's also way more capable. So um, I think I'll try to answer some of the questions that I get most often about it first. Yeah. So it is a Chevy Express 3500 with the 155 inch wheelbase. So it's the extended wheelbase. Um, it's got a six liter gas engine. It has a Quigley four x four conversion. And uh, Quigley also did the lift. It's got um, 35 inch BFG um, KM3 tires. I'm trying to think what else. Um, so we have the van wrapped. I've got a video about that. And then it has a um, Baja Voodoo roof rack. And then uh, you guys were asking about that tarp up there, whether that was an awning or whatever. So if you guys watched the bus tour video and remember the tent that sat up next to the bus. So we actually retrofitted that tent and uh, put a doorway in the back of the tent. So the zippers go up and so we can open the side doors of the van right into the tent. So we can roll into camp, set up the tent, unload all the gear, go hunt in the van and then drive up and just open those zippers and open right up into the, into the tent. So it gives us way more living space. Um, but yeah, we've done, so Josh, my brother and I, Josh did the build. We've done a lot to it. So obviously took the bare bones van, ripped the guts out of it, and then um, put in a deck system and a cargo glide in the back, and then built the bed frame above that with a divider. So it can either be two sleeping cubbies or one big um, bed if we want it to be. And then on the interior, we've got like just a, kind of a cabinet in the back which houses like our battery system um, and then runs to an inverter so we can charge stuff or run the fridge freezer um, which is charged all by 200 watts of ZAMP solar panels on top of the roof rack and then uh, what else we put in oh we put in a roof vent so if you're looking at you know if you're trying to get a lot of heat out of the van during the middle of the day um, you can open that up turn it on it sucks all the heat right out the top and honestly, it feels like you're sitting in the shade. Like even though it's super hot outside, it's actually pretty pleasant in the van if you're just hanging out. So, um, and you have videos of like if people are interested in checking out like the whole build, you have videos of yeah, everything so you I've did. Yeah, I've done a whole series of videos on the, like you said the entire build. So um, back from when I bought the van until what it looks like now, I actually do do a, a film an updated tour. But uh, yeah, and then what else have we done? We put this molly webbing on the doors. So like, I just have one pocket on there right now, but we're gonna add a whole bunch of accessory okay, pockets yeah. so we can do like, you know, all the seasonings and everything. This will be like the kitchen, yeah. you know, the pantry. And then on this one, we still need to cover it up. The, the plan right now is to do kind of a makeshift uh, like kitchen, like on this one that can like set on there or be set on a table. Um, yeah, but just trying to make, like, have enough storage for all of the little things that we're not constantly jamming stuff in every little corner and, and losing things. So, um, but yeah, this is kind of like just the main cabin. And then I'll show you what it looks like in the back here. This is, so we've got the deck drawer system. So both of those just slide out. And then obviously have it all organized in different stuff. Like kind of have like cooking stuff over here, propane, uh, camp chef stove. Um, on this side, I think I just have like all of the little stuff like knives and kill kit and camera accessories and just all the stuff that I need to have organized for documenting all of this stuff. <clears throat> and then this is my probably my favorite part of the build. Yeah, I just saw you doing this the yeah. other day. This, so this is, is our cargo glide and weapon storage. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ready so, for anything. This, yeah. <laughs> this is it. This, like, so the vision came from, uh, if, if any of you ever watched Boondock Saints, when they turn the lights on in like the weapons room and like there's that whole wall of just like straight weapons. This is like kind of Boondock Saints, Batcave-esque, uh, you know, like, and then uh, for this, so I'm left-handed. So, but I cut the insert out so we can, Josh can use this uh, for his bow as well. So if we're hunting together, we'll have a bow holder on the back of the passenger seat. So one bow can be back here, and then who, who's ever hunting can 
have their bow like actually at the ready. Yeah. Those things are also a really good idea. I like that. I didn't notice that. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, we tried to do as much molly webbing on there as possible and then it's nice because if you go on Amazon and type molly webbing pouch, there's literally unlimited accessory pockets. So, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. <clears throat> the tactical side of things have really opened that up to different accessories you can throw on there. But, and so, that divider is removable yeah, too. Yeah, so it, this huh? divider slides out. So right now it can be obviously two sleeping bunks. So when, uh, you know, my brother and I are sharing the van, there's a little bit of our own space. <laughs> Get your own rooms. Yeah. <laughs> but. Uh, you know, if I'm taking it out with my wife or he's out with his wife or we're solo hunting, like we can pull that out and have, you know, a full big bed in there, which is really comfortable. Mm. And then that's just a four inch uh, memory foam topper. So is that favorite. the same thing that was on the bunk bed? Yeah. Those are really comfortable. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you, that's the greatest thing you could ever <laughs> sleep on, right? There. It's just like a cloud, you yeah. just go fall into it. So this, sleep. If, if anybody's looking to do something in the back of their truck or whatever, like, this is literally just type uh, four inch memory foam topper. And this is just a queen bed size that we cut down to whatever we needed it to be. So we've got fender flares, um, new wheels. Yeah, there's also, you know, flooring and the even room putting something like in. this is pretty handy because you can just throw any extra stuff like a yeah. target or yep. uh, maybe a hard bow case even, you know, it's just stuff you can throw on the back of there and yeah. add a bunch of space. I yeah. think that's like without pulling a trailer, you know, especially because we have that tent, which isn't in here right now. Um, like we can put the wood stove and the tent back on the cargo rack, and so as soon as we roll into camp, that pops up, and then this can be pulled off, and everything else can be unloaded and loaded into the tent. And then this is essentially just used for sleeping with tents like the camp. Yeah, it's a pretty cool setup. So I think what we've been really trying to tell people is it's important, like if you're building your own conversion rig, don't try to. I mean, you do whatever you want. <laughs> We're trying. We're not trying to live in the van. Like we're trying to live out of the van. And so this is a tool that allows us to do way more of what we want to do. Um, but we're not like cooking in there. You're not. You know, like it's, we don't have a shower inside. It's just. It's very purpose-driven built um, for exactly what we need. But, yeah. I mean, it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Turned out. Now it's you know actually seasoned, so we get to like we've done all the build work, and now it's time to go have fun with it. Mm -hmm. So like I said, if you want to watch the videos of the actual build, just check out Sam Soho YouTube channel and you do a bunch of stuff about it on Instagram too. Yep. Like all the, everything you're doing like daily is on your Instagram, so check that out. Right, exactly. So I've been trying to keep everybody as updated as possible. What's up everybody? We are about to head out to South Dakota. We're going to do a little antelope hunt. We got like a 11 hour drive, 12 hour drive. This is our first antelope hunt and we're pretty excited about it. Zach's coming from Colorado, Hayden is coming down from Wisconsin, and Jake is coming from Wisconsin. So, sounds like Sean, Hayden, and Zach have tags, and then me, Jake, and Goots are gonna be there to film, so. All right, so we snuck up on these two bucks. We're gonna try to slip down and get around them. We think we can cut them off. We have to hustle to get up there. down that road looking for somewhere to cross and every time he's took off running I just took off running after him. Be on your toes in case we have to It's right here. Can't get it. Just don't move. Why not under him?
any situation in the future, I'm letting down. I'm pretty angry at myself. I guess it's just a learning point. On to the next, I guess. 9, 10, 11. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Your lens is dirty. Yeah, you can see it. How do I look? Worse than you did the first day you were here. How do I smell? I haven't smelled you yet. It's alright. 